Hello and welcome to Bucharest! This will be the ultimate guide to travel Bucharest. In this video we are going to show you places you must visit, how to get around the city and everything you need to know for your stay. Let's go! So we just arrived to the airport of Bucharest at night time and we wanted to get to our hotel but uh, the public transportation at night is very limited you only got the train which doesn't really come close to the hotel and you got the taxi service so we took a boat to the old town to our hotel it uh, charged us for 30 euros a great way to travel around Bucharest is uh, buying the travel tourist cards which give you access to all public transportation around the city for 72 hours uh, you can get it for 40 leo in the bus stations in a vending machine at the airport and metro stations. Let's talk about your internet connection in Romania for your trip. Uh, basically, Romania got three providers. It's uh, Telecom, it's Vodacom and the Orange. Uh, the best will be Telecom with the best coverage over the country. Uh, and we bought uh, SIM cards with, for uh, 30 days, which is 5 euros each, with unlimited internet for one month. We're starting with the biggest attraction, literally the biggest attraction in Bucharest, is the Palace of the Parliament. Completed in 1997, it holds a few world records. One of them is being the heaviest administrative building in the world, weighing over 4,000 tons. It uh, consists of 1,100 uh, rooms in 23 sections, including the Parliament of Romania, Conference International Room, and three museums. Now, if you want to visit the Parliament uh, building, there's only one way to book the tour, it's a call one day before and only by phone. It's a tour of one and a half hours and uh, you need to bring a passport with you. We finished the parliament tour. One interesting fact that we learned today is that over 700 architects were working on this building while the chief architect was a woman under 30 years old. A short walk across the Dambovica river, we get into the old town where you can find the beautiful streets with restaurants and the unique landmarks. One of them is the Stavropovel Monastery, which was built in the 18th century. If you travel Bucharest on the weekend, you definitely should look for the Artesian Fontaines and Urini Square. Those fountains hold the world records for the longest geographical system in the world. It lasts for 45 minutes and it starts at 9 o'clock in the evening. three places are next to each other so visit them on the same day we took a metro to the largest park in the capital which is Herastro Park located on the Herastro Lake it's open in 1936 it is uh, the largest park inside the city in Europe inside the park you can find a Japanese garden and a lake with the row boats for 20 leo per hour Just next to the Harris Row Park is the Village Museum. It's uh, made up of uh, 340 houses, mills and farms from all around the rural areas of Romania. Welcome 
to Paris! Ooh. Just kidding! This is the Arch of Triumph in Bucharest. The Arch of Triumph is just next to the park. Cross was built out of wood in 1878 after the Romanian independence. Later on, it uh, was built out of uh, concrete after the First World War. And nowadays, every 1st of December, parade is marching under it for the Romanian day. Here's another park. This time, it's a walking distance from the center. It's a Chishmiju Park. It's the oldest park in Bucharest. And from my opinion, it looks much more better than Herastro Park. And also, it's just across the road from our hotel. Just a few blocks north from the old town is the Antium of Romania. It's the most prestige concert hall in the city. It's built in 1888. Unfortunately, today it's closed, so we cannot go inside, but we still can enjoy the beauty of the building. Last but not least is Terme, the European largest wellness and relaxation center with indoor and outdoor mineral pools, saunas, jacuzzis, water slides, as well as Romania's largest botanical garden with over 800,000 plants and the largest urban beach in Europe. The park is designed with three areas. The galaxy with water slides, the palm for relaxation and Elysium for indulgence. When buying a ticket, you can choose one or more areas and an hourly or a full day option. Guys, we are after a full day here at Terme and a few conclusions. Uh, first of all, I suggest you to take a full day because uh, there's a long waiting time and the slides. So if you want to do everything, you need to take a full day. Also, there's the only place you can eat is inside the area. So the prices are a little bit pricey. So consider bringing your own food. Anything else? Yeah, uh, there are no cameras allowed anywhere and they are watching and uh, no jewelry or glasses allowed on the slides so make sure you put them in the lockers ahead. That's it guys, that concludes our four day stay here in Bucharest. Tomorrow we are doing a road trip to Transylvania and the Transfagasan road. Hope you liked the video. If you got any questions feel free to comment below. Subscribe and stay tuned. Bye.